Electricity. We use it every day. It powers our homes, businesses, and industries. Electricity is a flowing force and can be extremely dangerous. If you enter its path, you become part of the electrical circuit and will receive a shock that could injure or kill you. If you're planning any activity close to power lines, be sure to follow these seven steps to electrical safety. Step 1. 10 meters or 33 feet to safety. If you see a fallen power line or exposed underground cable, stay back at least 10 meters or 33 feet. That's about the length of a school bus. Phone 911 or ATCO's electricity emergency number to report the incident. Step 2. Always ask yourself, where's the line? If you're operating machinery or tall equipment like augers or sprayers, make sure you check for overhead power lines and keep equipment clear. Remember, lines could be buried too, so remember to call or click before you dig. Always ask yourself, where's the line? Step 3. Know your limits. When operating equipment or machinery near power lines, stay at least 7 meters away. If you need to operate closer, call your nearest ATCO office before beginning work. We'll help you work safely around power lines. Step 4. Don't hang around operating equipment. Stay at least 10 meters or 33 feet away from equipment operating near power lines. If the equipment contacts an energized line, the surrounding area will become energized, putting you in danger. If you must approach, ensure the equipment is not operating. Step 5. Shuffle or hop, don't step. If the machine, equipment or vehicle you're operating contacts an energized line, move away from the line to break contact. If this can't be done, remain in your vehicle and warn others to stay at least 10 meters or 33 feet away. Call 911 and wait until help arrives. If there is a fire or if your life is at risk, jump from your vehicle keeping your feet together. Never touch your vehicle and the ground at the same time. Shuffle or hop until you're 10 meters or 33 feet away. Never allow the heel of one foot to move beyond the toe of the other. Once you've reached a safe distance, call 911 for help. Step 6. Call or click before you dig. When digging or drilling, you must determine the location of all underground services. Call Alberta One Call before you dig at 1-800-242-3447. Utilities are closer to the surface than you might think. If a cable is accidentally dug up, call ATCO immediately. Move the digger bucket clear of the cable and stay out of the trench. If the machine can't be moved, keep workers at least 10 meters or 33 feet back and have the operator remain in the vehicle until help arrives. In case of fire, follow the shuffle or hop, don't step rule. Step 7. Don't become a victim. Always call 911 when someone is injured in an electrical accident. Keep everyone back a minimum distance of 10 meters or 33 feet and have someone call for help. Do not approach them until the utility confirms it is safe to do so. Don't put yourself at risk of becoming a second victim. Electrical safety. It should always be top of mind when working or living near power lines. Let's review the seven steps to electrical safety. Number one, stay back at least 10 meters or 33 feet for safety. Number two, always ask yourself, where's the line? Number three, know your limits when working near power lines. Number four, don't hang around equipment operating near electrical infrastructure. Number five, shuffle or hop, don't take steps when exiting an area that may be energized. Number six, call or click before you dig. It can save a life. Number seven, don't become a victim. Be aware and stay safe. Call or visit our website for more safety tips, tools, and resources. And remember, safety first, always.